How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has just released its latest update to iOS 18, iOS 18.3, which is actually the third big update to iOS 18. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. All of the new features, changes, bug fixes, software updates, and everything else. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so let's start talking about what's new with visual intelligence, which is a feature enabled by the camera control button. So this is exclusive to the iPhone 16 series. So if you go ahead and press and hold your camera control button, you see that animation, that glow, that indicates that yes, it uses Apple intelligence. And the new stuff here has to do with this. Let me show you. So I've got here the invitation for WWDC, right? So what I can do now in iOS 18.3 is actually read flyers, posters, notices, pretty much anything that has a date, as you can see, and create an event out of it. So if I press this middle button right here, I'm gonna click on it. As you can see, it's gonna analyze the photo and automatically it's gonna show me not only a website that it found, but also the event date. So if I tap on the three dots, it's gonna show me the day, of course, the time, everything as you can see, and I can create an event straight from here. And not only that, it's so smart that it actually calculated that it's gonna be 2 p.m. my local time because WWDC was actually at 10 a.m. Pacific time, but in my local time here in Brazil, it's actually 2 p.m. and it calculates that automatically. But visual intelligence got better in other ways as well. If I actually bring up this photo of a dog and I point my phone using visual intelligence and I tap here on ask this time, it's actually gonna analyze the photo, it's gonna ask ChatGPT and in just like two seconds, it's gonna give me the information that I want. This dog is a Pomeranian, a small breed of no, no, no. So it's gonna give me all the information I need. It's gonna identify it's a dog and even give the breed and even analyze the photo as well. So this is very, very smart. And it gets better because it can analyze plants. It can analyze plants too. So if I go ahead and do the exact same, tap on ask, it's gonna analyze, ChatGPT is gonna do its magic. And in a few seconds, you can see this giant sequoia tree native of California, and then it's gonna give all of the information. So amazing, very, very smart, even though the photo is terrible, it's not very good, but it can analyze and identify animals, plants, and even help you create events. Now let's open up our settings and then scroll down until we get to notifications and then summarize notifications, which unfortunately, again, is not available to everyone, but at least this feature is not exclusive to the 16 series. It's available on all iPhones with Apple intelligence. So the iPhone 15 Pro series gets this feature as well. So what's new here? When you go ahead and enable the feature, we now get this splash screen saying summarize notifications beta. It's making it very, very clear that this is a beta feature and it explains pretty much what it does. If you don't know, summarize notifications will pretty much get a group of notifications from the same application and then summarize it tell what it's actually there. So when you get a bunch of notifications from the same app, you're gonna get a summarize, as you can see right here in this example, with just one notification saying what that group of notifications are talking about. The thing is, it doesn't work so well, and that's what Apple is trying to emphasize on 18.3, among other things. So if you go ahead and continue here, choose notifications to summarize, you can see right here that now it groups on a few options. As you can see, news and entertainment, and that's a change as well, because when you tap on news and entertainment, it says that it's not available. It's temporarily unavailable. So it will automatically appear when available, not right now. And that's because of a problem Apple had, especially on news notifications, because it was actually summarizing it wrong and even giving fake news. So because of this, they actually take it out and it's not working for news and entertainment at this moment until they fix it. So you can enable it, but it will not work for this category. Uh, we have here communication and social, which is 
fully working and then all other notifications and again it's making it very clear this is a beta feature summaries may contain errors so happily is making it very clear in 18.3 so you can go ahead and tap on summarize all notifications if you want to or just a few and of course here you can select exactly which applications you want and it's actually kind of funny because if you have any uh, news or entertainment app it's gonna say temporarily unavailable as you can see another thing that's new is when you take a look at a summarized notification it'll indicate with this little icon as you can see but also the text is in italic so it's a little bit tilted as you can see compared to your normal notification and this is actually a very good example on how this feature generally get things wrong for example, this is a notification from YouTube Studio and I'm uploading some videos and the notification says that there are no errors. As you can see, no issues, so no errors. Again, no issues. But then when you take a look at the summary, it says issues found. So it's the opposite. It's saying there are issues, there are errors with a video when, as a matter of fact, there aren't. So really, don't trust summary notifications that much. And the final thing that's new here related to this feature has to do with the fact that you can slide to the left, tap on options, and now you have some options here to choose on your summaries. Like for example, turn off summaries for this application. So this is a possibility right here, you can turn it off altogether. Now let's go ahead and open up the calculator and finally a feature that's actually available to everyone. Now you can repeat your last operation by using the equal button. For example, two times two equals four. If you go ahead and go for equals once again, it's gonna go for four times two again this time eight times two. So it's gonna get the current number and repeat the last operation. Again, 16 times two, 32 times two, 64 times two, and so on. So a very cool trick that you can use that's pretty handy. Now let's talk about bug fixes beginning with this. The feature that you can actually talk to Siri with your keyboard without saying anything. So if you actually initiate a request for Siri using the keyboard just like you saw sometimes the keyboard would just disappear it was a bug now it's actually fixed this has actually happened to me a few times and last but not least iOS 18 fixes an issue where sometimes you're listening to music on Apple music and then you actually close the app like that but then the music would keep playing in the background even while the application is completely gone completely off this is now fixed and finally we always have the security updates which you can find right here on this page from apple support i'm gonna leave it in the description down below if you want to check it out generally it's not very interesting even though it's super important so i'm not gonna cover here in this video so as you can imagine ios 18.3 is super recommended for everyone who's running ios 18 especially if you have one of the newer devices because of the new features but of course to every single person I haven't noticed any single difference related to performance and battery life, so you shouldn't expect any difference there. iOS 18.3 is really a small software update, even though it's a one-digit software update. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. As usual, guys, bye-bye.